I don't know why, but I'm excited to record another video tonight. Could get an internet. Uh, we have our stats up above me for our party. Uh, this is the party that we're currently using. Uh, I'm still debating back and forth as to whether I would prefer Screech or um, Gerhalt because Screech is so bad at taking hits. I'm going to give Screech a little bit longer, but I'm currently leaning towards switching back to Gerhalt just because uh, Gerhalt at least can reach things and take a hit. Anyway, we just finished up a battle against um, the Devil Army, and now we are heading north. This is a required battle. I heard about you from Gashup. You ordered me to take out some of your people. But it's not enough. This is the end of your resistance. Right? Right? Kill them. Kill them all. Oh. So this is a very special battle. First off, we've got some new enemies. Uh, this is a Cerberus. It looks like a giant kitty that's wagging their tail, but the tail's a snake, but with really big whiskers to me. Anyway, you'll notice it's attacks 108, because why not? Uh, Devil Soldiers are normal enemies now. We also have Pegasus Knights that we're fighting, which are flying melee units. Uh, luckily, these do not have javelins, because otherwise that would suck. We also have... Jar. I'll get to him in a bit. Anyway, more Pegasus Knights. We've got a Bowmaster who's using an Assault Shell, which is the same weapon we have, only this Bowmaster has 102 attack. Uh, the Bowmaster, I believe, is the boss of the battle. Yep. So yeah, this is a special battle. You'll understand why shortly. Uh, let's just spread the good word from here. And Jaha still needs to level up six more times before he gets new spells, so. So yeah, Pegasus Knights we have to watch out for, because they have long reach. There's seven, yeah. They're basically the replacements of the Harpies. The only difference is that these have worse defense and worse attack, worse agility, more hit points, and no magic. I, I don't get it, but sure, whatever. You can hide there. Slade, you actually have good defense, why don't you move over there? Chester, you don't have good defense. You're going to stay a little bit further back. Same with you, May. Oh, what's the range on the Cerber Cerberuses? What's the plural of Cerberus? Be Greek. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's a lot of difficult terrain in the way, so it's probably not gonna reach that far. Ninja. Uh, no, actually, it seems to be ignoring terrain. Whoops. Oh, well. That's a Cerberus. It hits hard. It has 108 attack after all, so that makes sense. So it's time to snip it some. Snip. Fortunately, they have pretty good defense. Is there actual defense? 44. It's pretty good. It's not awesome. It's just pretty good. Baron Slash. I mean, it's also standing on a uh, terrain effect 30% location, so. Uh, Serperai, strangely enough, for Shining Force 2, are basically specced like um, tortoises, or monsters. So, the promoted tortoise. The main difference is that they don't suck. I say that uh, Kiwi, which is in base Shining Force 2, is actually one of my preferred characters. 
Reason being that he... That's a really good level up. Good job, Gerhalt. Or, sorry, um... Not Gerhalt. Gerhalt's what the Wolf Baron is normally. Randolph, there we go. Um... Kiwi is in Base Shining Force 2, who's the only tortoise in the game, is not that bad of a character. The reason why is that Kiwi has ludicrously high defense. I don't know who's currently boosted. You're boosted, you're boosted, you're boosted. You're not, but... Let's spread the word over here. Ah, I really wish Blast was one more range. Um, oh, I should actually heal Luke. Probably a bad idea. Let's do it anyway. 16. That defense. So I'm really tired. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have continued. It's not that late at night or anything. It's just... I haven't been sleeping all that well lately. Good job, Luke. I can't reach. You know what? You're just gonna stay over here. Randolph, I can't reach. But I'm gonna make sure that you don't run away. Yep, that's what I expected to have happen. I think May can take it because standing in good terrain, yeah. As long as it's only one attack. Ugh. Stupid multi attacks. That will lure out somebody. Screech, how about you kill them? How many hit points do they have left? 13. Cat on one does enough damage, probably. Cat on one! Yep. Good job, Screech. I'm tired of this. I can no longer fight for devils. Jaro, what? Didn't you hear me? Hey, Grand Seal guys, I'm on your side from now on, okay? This is our second instance of us getting petered, which is we have no control over Jaro whatsoever. Jaro is now a gladiator. <laughs> With incredibly crappy stats, holy crap. 66 attack. Uh, Chester has better attack and Chester's an archer. In fact, all of my characters have better attack. Anyway, Jaro is usually the first Pegasus Knight that you get, assuming that you don't save a knight up for being promoted at Pekalon. Um, He's not good. <laughs> the best way of phrasing it is he's not a good character. Um, being a gladiator, he's even worse, because that means his movement's garbage. His stats are garbage. Gladiator's supposed to be the higher defense version of Baron's. Janet, who above me is still level 11, has 61 defense. Jaro has 56. So Janet has five more defense and is a class that's supposed to have less defense. I'm not going to be using Jaro. Anyway, moving along. Hmm, so tired. Uh. Actually, staying there is not the worst idea, because you need to heal May. <laughs> so the reason why I'm using Kiwi's magic over um, Luke's, not Luke, um, Eric's magic, or Rick, too many similar enemies, or similar names, is because Rick has less of it, and I don't really need to use magic for Kiwi to be awesome, whereas Rick pretty much has to use magic. Anyway, 
that portrait just changed. This randomizer is messing with my brain. Anyway, um, Jaro's gonna die. <laughs> There's no way Jaro will survive this battle. And that's okay. You know why? Because Jaro sucks. I don't want to move out that far. I'm just gonna sit there. Doesn't help that this is the second time that we've been in a battle in this particular locale. It gets boring. Have you heard the good word about boost? I know a lot of people have been boosted already. Yeah. Alright, is there anybody in- I know May's a little injured. Just May. I mean, yeah, it's just six hit points, but it'll be fine. Okay. That is my highest defense character, who just took 29 damage to the face, standing on the highest defense terrain object. So, one of my criticisms about Shining Force 2 is the fact that enemy attack quickly outstrips your defense. Uh, even on my tanks. I mean, my tanks can no longer take multiple hits. But their defense also gets outstripped by my attack. So, what ends up happening is that it's just a battle of who does the most damage. First, I don't like that, personally. I am underleveled, also. So, I mean, Jaro's joining at level 12. I'm pretty certain that I should be more like level 13. Oh, this might be a problem. Because that Pegasus hasn't gone yet. Yep, Janet's going down the hole. Anyway, I wanted to teleport out of here anyway. Yep. That's what gladiators look like, by the way. They look dumb. You dealt 16 damage to a healer. Well, on the plus side, you'll occupy the healer for a while. On the minus side, I don't care. I'll hit you both. Sure. I got XP, so that's not too bad. Do I want to run away, or do I want to just deal without Janet? Um, what level is Janet right now? 12. I'll try dealing with that for now. I will probably end up regretting this, but, you know. Flyer versus Flyer, let's go. Uh, no. You go away and stay away, damn it. Kiwi leveled up, yay. Kiwi 2, MP1, attack 1, defense 2, agility 2. Kiwi's just a monster. Complete and total monster. Ninety six attack. Nin nin. Slice. So, um, ninja eventually get a weapon, assuming that you're lucky enough to get it from mithril mining, which I am totally going to be uh, reloading from. But um, assuming that you can craft it via mithril, uh, ninja get a weapon called the gizarme which is totally not historically accurate. That really messed me up when I did a report on weapons, medieval weapons, back when I was in high school. Um, I need healing. Not really anybody. Anyway, um, the Gizarm in Shining Force 2 is the best ninja weapon in the game. It does a lot of damage. But on a critical hit, it one-shots the enemy. 
assuming that you're not fighting a boss. If you're fighting a boss, it does normal critical damage instead. Or 1.5x critical damage, because ninja are weird like that. Um, by one shot, I mean it'll just say, blah blah, is cut off, and it'll have its own unique animation and everything. They're a very strange everything, given that's supposed to be a polearm, but whatever. Um, who can hear the good word? Those three can use the word. Oh, I can't reach all three of them. I'll, heal. I'll boost these two. Anyway, um, so I should mention, I uh, talk about crits because I feel like it and I'm tired. Ooh, level up. You get anything good? Dao 2. Okay, Dao 2 is actually a useful ability. So, summon spells only go up to level 2 for reference. So, Dao 2 is actually a very powerful spell. Nobody with Atlas, I just realized. Um, you know what? The two of you can just deal with each other. I'm going this way. Randolph, just stand there and look pretty. Um, so the way criticals work in Shining Force 2 is that you have a roll to hit whenever you're doing this. You could miss, you could hit, you can crit. Criticals are usually 1.25x damage. That is to say that you do 25% more damage than whatever your roll to damage is. However, certain enemies and certain characters do 1.5x damage instead. Ninja are one of them. However, certain weapons, which include the critical sword here, will instead override your critical rate. And when it overrides your critical rate, it also overrides your critical damage, because I think that's actually a bug in Shining Force 2. So the critical sword is actually a really bad weapon to equip on a ninja. You're much better off equipping, say, a counter sword, which increases your counter attack rate. Counter attacks are measured differently, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Um, they are measured separately from everything else, which is to say that um, I had mentioned that you either miss, hit, or crit. After that is done, you have a second roll for whether you have a second attack, and the enemy has a roll as to whether they counterattack. Um, their counterattack roll and your counterattack roll, similarly, happens at once the enemy is done attacking. When it does happen, it usually does reduce damage, which sucks. Thus, my lesson on how mechanics work in this game. You know what? I will send Bowie out that way to go help. Because we're in scary land where Bowie's taking way too damn much damage constantly. Everybody is because I have a very low defense for low defense point force. Oh, nice of you to say hi. Yeah, I'm going to go stand on the high defense terrain for this. Thanks. I mean, that Pegasus Knight's going to die. I'm more thinking about the other one. Screech, your movement is not very good. Yep. Good job, Jaro. Uh, Master Bone's like, I'm done dealing with this. I don't care anymore. Heavy attack for nine. Good for you. Uh, that Master Monk is not worth my time anymore. Not with Jaha. Jaha's a little Shubai level. Uh, my stomach is crumbly. Ah, uh, you need to die. Funk. Earned 43 XP. Okay, so that means that I'm equal level to it, so it's good for level 14. I can eke out a little bit of XP at 15. Might as well heal Slade a little bit.
Master Monk, how about you take a slice? Oh no, a counterattack! Ah! Ninja. Mm, I have level 11 characters, I don't want a ninja attack. Again, I have level 11 characters. Thought. Do I only have one level 11 character left? Okay. I'll save state just in case this is a dumb idea. Okay, it's not that dumb. Yep. Well, at least I got an attack up. That's good. You're going to attack Gerhalt, or Randolph. Keep doing that. 22. That hurts. Doesn't hurt as much as those Cerberi, though. Speaking of the Cerberi, their movement 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They can't reach yet. Good. I'm fine. We're just not going closer yet. Really? So much dodging. So, so much dodging. Oh! I didn't realize they had six. Oh, good job dodging. Good job. So, if I egress out, Jaro's actually in my force. Jaha. I actually want you to help over here instead. And you're gonna kill this. Punch him in the next week, Tuesday. Six damage. And Kiwi leveled up again. HP 2, MP 1, Attack 1, Defense 2, Agility 2. Because I really needed more of those stats. That's fine. Everything's fine. Kiwi's at 97 attack. Everything's fine. Uh... Heal Randolph. I know it's not a full heal. That's fine. Randolph's okay. Yep. That's perfectly fine. Kiwi definitely has the hit points to take a freeze. In fact, Kiwi has the most hit points in my party, doesn't she? Yeah by a lot. I just noticed that she's what, 12 higher than the next highest two levels ago. So that means that she's well, it's current HP unfortunately. So 85. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's so much higher that it doesn't matter. Okay, I gotta watch out for that Cerberus. That's bait right there. Cerberus can move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think that I need to spread the good word about boost this time. No crack, good. Oh crap. Bye Screech. I guess I can attack the Pegasus Knight. Instead, that'll block the Pegasus Knight from being able to attack Screech. I'd like Screech to actually do something. Ugh. And Screech has Dao too. It's not like Screech is useless. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Ah, uh, Luke, just finish off the stupid Pegasus Knight. That was not a good spot for me to put Luke in. Oh well. HP2, MP2, attack, defense, agility. No spell. Try it. I think Kiwi can take... Oh, definitely can take the hit with Belching. 
So this is also something that um, Shining Force 2 Kiwi can do, which is randomly belch out flames. Um, let's take out the stupid Necromancer. Because the Necromancer is going to go next. Think that will take out the Necromancer? Not quite. Okay. But it's trivial to take out at this point. Bonk. Good job, archers. Good job. Speaking of archers, I'm actually going to move you over to here and attack instead. Uh, yeah, I guess the Cerberus is only disadvantage low hit points, which is kind of Kiwi's base Kiwi's disadvantage. Anyway, the um, Sprouting Flames is a thing. So in Base Shining Force 2, Kiwi, who's the only tortoise in the game, has a random chance of spouting out flames. The problem with this is that you have to be promoted in order to be able to get that ability. It has one hit point left. Cool. Uh, hold on a moment. Son, Kenny, you can't stand on my laptop. I'm sorry. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, does Dalf 2 actually have... No, it doesn't have better range. So this is... Well, to the best of my knowledge, there's no visual difference between Dow 1 and Dow 2. I'm going to try this. So it did 41 damage. Maybe the rocks are bigger or smaller? No. It's the identical spell effect. Either way, I want Screech to kill it. So, take a Katon. Okay. I'm no longer as screwed. And I have the perfect area for spreading the good word. Heal yourself. There we go. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the person, uh, the belches out flames. So the problem is that it only does the same amount of damage as Blaze 2. And Kiwi, by the time that you're actually using Kiwi, does more damage with her melee attack. And it's the same range and it's random. So belching out into flames is a neat concept. It's completely useless since you can't control it. There's definitely enemies where it would be useful for, like for instance, very high defense enemies, it would probably be much better to belch out into flames. And also if you ever got the higher level versions of it, uh, it looks, I think somebody figured out that the script of the game has Kiwi learning the high level versions of it, but at ludicrously high levels, like 60s and so on. Which for reference, end game, you're usually at about promoted level 20 to 25 or so. So yeah, we're actually not that far from the end of the game, but, um, no, wait, no, it's promoted level 30, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's 30 now that I think about it. Jester needs healing badly. Ooh, level up, yes. Oh, no new spell. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range. Help. 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 Help me. There we go. Oh, I actually can ninja attack still. Okay, that wasn't that bad of an idea then. Slice, dice, death, death. Good. Luke needs more kills. That'd be interesting to look at, is how many kills I actually have on my force. So, 47, 58. The first ones should have more kills because they've been the party longer. 38, 61, 23, 44, 36, 
15, 19. See, again, we're getting to the characters that are new. 14, 16, 4, 0, because he's brand new. Coincidentally, this is the only battle in the game that you get 13 characters in. Ah, uh, Wolf Baron, you can sit there and taunt out a freeze. Um, who's boosted? Most people are boosted. Cool. I don't even know if this... Yeah. I thought Bowie had been... Oh, crap. I was not expecting the Bowmaster. This is gonna hurt. Yep. 29 damage while I'm sitting in high terrain on one of my better defense units in the game. That's not great. That's not great at all. How about you heal all the way back up, friend? Yeah, that's a good heal, isn't it? Why I'm talking like that, I have no idea. Whatever. Bowie. That's very dangerous territory up there. You should stay back here with your idiot friend. Uh, I can't defend myself. At least the Bowmaster has low hit points. Mage would be great up there right about now. I'm not gonna reach with a mage though. Get a bonk? You're gonna bonk. You fool. You hit me for seven. I'm even in 0% terrain. Here, let me give you a friendly back. Here's my friendly. Say hi to Dow. Dow puppy. Bonk. 43 damage. So much damage with summons. May's hurt pretty bad. I'm gonna keep May back. Do you actually have any? Yes, you do. That's right. You have Bolt 3. Let's go. It's time to actually use Bolt 3. It does a lot of damage to an area of effect. It's nice. Forty-nine XP, as expected. HP two, MP two, attack one, defense two, agility two. I approve. Yeah, May. Randolph, get rid of the stupid master monk. Thank you. Nice crit. So the Bowmaster's the boss, so. Yep, yeah, Elric can finish off the Bowmaster. It'll be fine. Well, we've only spent 33 minutes. We can actually do the next battle. Or at least prep for it. No attack again? Are you kidding me? All right. I can't believe it. You might have been killed by the devils. Indeed. Why did you change your mind? So, that's the portrait of Freya. So, here, I'll use my mouse. So, this is the portrait and avatar of Freya. This is the portrait and avatar of Jaro. Freya is currently pretending to be Jaro. Jaro is currently pretending to be Freya. Also, notice where Jaro is from. For those that may not remember, Gallum was the city that invaded Grand Seal way back at the start of the game. I can't stand... Also, I don't know why Jaro is currently using a high-pitched noise. I can't stand their wicked ways. You have the same opinion of them as we do. Please let me join you. I could be of great help to you. No, you can't. You need a professional soldier like me. No, I don't. You're garbage. Oh, we welcome you, all right. But he was on the other side just a minute ago. I don't care, Peter. He's in the air of his ways. Bowie, don't you want Jaro to join our force? Not. Jaro the gladiator has joined the force. Ah. <sighs> All right, Jaro, you're garbage. I'll try to do my best. Uh, let's actually get your stats. And also, 
voices are glitched again. So, 12.28. You have 58 hit points, 0 MP, 66 attack, 56 defense, 34 agility, 5 movement. We're in the 21st position. There we go. Okay. Might as well turn it off, Excel. I'm not going to be updating it for the rest right now. Uh, Great Axe might not actually be the best weapon for him. I should probably give him a little bit of a chance, but I don't care right now. Let's continue on and go to Mount. I'm opening the gate of Mount. Devils are waiting inside. Be careful. Vicar Freya uses the gate key. Welcome, losers! You follow the example of the people of Mount and die without resistance. No, I'm too late. I've killed a lot of people. I can never forgive myself. So I'm going to screw you over now. Bowie, please let me fight with you. They must die. Freya, the Pegasus Knight. That's actually the correct animation. Um, so fun thing about this, when Freya joins you, you're forced to take Freya. Freya will be a great asset. Janet returns to the caravan. That's the problem with taking Freya, is that Janet will meet or whoever is last in your party. So, actually, I guess Screech must be a higher number than Janet. It should have been Screech. So, I have this in order of what party member order it is. I guess Janet is actually, or Screech is first, because it might be in order of when they're mentioned in the game. Bowie, Freya is right. They must die! So, um, the first thing that you do is egress to get your party back. But I want to take a look at Freya. So Freya is a Pegasus Knight at level 13, which is nice. Uh, let's see. I'm going to assume Freya is actually earlier than Taya. Pegasus Knights, I might consider actually keeping if the stats aren't garbage. Let's find out. So, you're level 13 with 61 hit points. That's not bad. 0 MP. 62 attack. So, that's actually only one attack higher than Higgins, even though Freya is two levels higher. That's not a good sign. Uh, 47 defense. That is actually pretty good defense for a Pegasus Knight. Uh, 42 agility. And 7 movement. And your some number I'll figure it out later. Um, that's not terrible. So comparing with Bowie, yes, Bowie's going to have a higher attack. But eh, Frey is still not that great. I don't really need to do that. Let's just Bowie egress now. And actually get our team back. And then I'll take a look at the order. That's really strange. It's always the last member of your party that gets booted out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy some healing items. I haven't done that in a long time. And I actually have money now. And it's not like I'm going to be using money for much of anything else in the game. Okay, you're full... So, I look at trying to make sure that there's one slot open so I can pick up an item that drops. Oh, first off, I need to sell the extra sword that Bowie has. Because I don't need the great sword for anything anymore. Buy. One drop. Um, Kiwi still has the power water that I want to use. May go ahead and get some healing drops. Gerhalt's out of my party right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. Rick, you're full. Elric, go ahead and take a healing drop. Randolph, take a healing drop. 
Janet, I still need to revive, I just remembered. Whoops. Yeah, Screech should have been the one that was kicked out of the party. Also, I need to sell Screech's power stick. Weird. Yeah, and Freya's not staying at my party. Just no. Oh, maybe Janet got kicked out because Janet's dead. That might be why. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever entered that battle with somebody dead before. And yeah, I knew that I was going to egress immediately. That's why I didn't bother coming back to revive. All right. I've got 20 minutes left. I could call this a quick one. That's not a terrible idea. Um... I think what I'm going to do is... I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright. I was double-checking something, which is Creed's Mansion. And we have cobwebs. Things have changed. Notice that there's people about now. Oh, Bowie! Yodler regained his memory and suddenly went berserk. He had a fearful face, but my master understood everything. He fell into the sea to stop Oddler. Is Mr. Creed still alive? So both Creed and Oddler are gone now. Really want to find the legendary magic sword? But I can't do that if I'm stuck here. May I join your force? Sure. So now we have Eric the Archer. I'm not sure why, but I'm free. Can I join your force? Sure. Tyrion the Archer. And finally, I'm free! Fresh air smells so good! Where should I go? Hey, may I go with you? Hello, Karna. And we've now recruited everybody else. So I'm gonna level them up to level 11, just like the others. So they're gonna be promoted, and I'll level them up to level 11. Uh, the reason for 11 is that I have a tab of my spreadsheet that has everybody at level 11, and I'm using that for comparison purposes. So, I'm gonna do that really fast. Let's just go back. There we go. Um... Right, need to promote first. That's what I was thinking about. So I've promoted pretty much everybody at level 24, so promoting them right now is not that big of a deal. It's equivalent. Let's promote Tyrin. Yep. Oh, wait, no. Was I going to promote any of them to Brass Gunner? Tyrin was the one I was going to promote to Brass Gunner. Oh well. Uh, no. Be Janet had better remain in the current class. Karna. Yep. And Eric. Hi, I'm Eric. Alright. So I'm going to go level them up really fast. It's not going to take me very long. Even though they need to level up ten times each. Uh, with my trick, it's not going to take very long. I'll be right back and report the results. Yep. This is totally a thing. Bye! Alright, and we're back from leveling everybody up. Um, I wanted to give you the lowdown as to what I have. So let's go ahead and throw on the snips. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and throw in the Brass Gunner and the uh, Bow Knight as well. So these are all of our Snips, or Brass Gunners. Um, one thing that I noticed immediately is how low hit points Eric and Tyrin are. I know I promoted them all at level 24. I mean, I can even watch the video that I did this on, so I know I love promote on level 24. I don't know why their hit points are so much lower. I'm wondering if that's actually a glitch and they should have 58 hit points instead of 48. Anyway, um, one thing to note is that it's very similar in level and power to May if Eric was supposed to have 10 more hit points. So I have a hunch that that's actually supposed to be the case. And Tyrin has way more defense than most of the other force. Uh, Tyrin absolutely should have been a brass gunner. I feel bad about not promoting him to be as such. Um, but either way, these snipers are not very good. The reason why is that, well, uh, they might be slightly better than, uh, Eric might be slightly better than Elric, but his defense is so terrible it's not worth it. Also, uh, Tyrin actually has better attack. Tyrin is actually better than Elric in every way except for hit points, where there's a nine hit point difference. I'm really wondering if this is due to um, a bug. So I'm going to take a look at the files in a bit, because no, these characters won't be spoiling me anymore. Uh, the other one that I have is that I have a new bird battler. So Karna is very similar to Bowie, except lower attack. So it's definitely not this. It's definitely this. So it's very similar stats to Bowie, except uh, quite a bit lower weapon attack and quite a bit higher agility. Otherwise, the stats are pretty much a wash. Karna has an extra hit point and extra defense. Total stat-wise, they're roughly the same. It's like Karna is one point off of what Bowie is. Not counting MP, of course. Uh, so Karna's actually not that bad of a choice if I wanted another flyer. Um, adding in our... Um, that's right, we don't have one there. I'm just going to grab Freya really fast and throw Freya on there because I know Freya is two levels higher, but can't do much about that. Um, yeah, so if you take a look at Freya versus Karna, Freya has three less attack, but keep in mind Freya is using a weaker weapon uh, because Freya has the throwing spear, Javelin, instead. Three fewer hit points, one more defense, ten lower agility. That That hurts. Um, but Freya is also two levels higher. In those two levels, Karna would probably gain an extra four attack. Three or four attack. So, I think Karna might not actually be that bad of a choice. So, in summary, um, what I wanted to show for the last thing are the characters that I received from... Um, whatchamacallit, um, Creed's Mansion. So that would be, of the characters, that's Eric, Karna, um, Randolph, and Tyrin. These are the four characters that I received from the mansion. And these are, all four characters are promoted at level 24 and are at level 11, according to this diagram which means that the four characters should be roughly equal in power. They're not. Randolph is a lot better of a choice than those other ones. Um, if Bowie wasn't a bird brain, Karna would have been the better choice. But, well, Bowie's already a flyer. I already have a flyer in my party, and I'm going to have to keep him around. I'm already having problems keeping his defense up. So I needed a tank. Um, just... There's an 11 attack difference between Karna and Randolph. Sure, Karna has way higher agility, and that's there's something to be said about that. But, yeah, no. And I did not need yet another archer. I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that analysis. I'm going to go back to Moun, 
some other day, probably Saturday or Sunday, because I'm tired and the rest of my week's busy. Bye, Internet. See you next time. Boo-boo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-